just by wandering. I managed to put a leviathan between me and my life <laughs> okay. okay, so I haven't done this, this business before, but this is the video you guys have waited ever so patiently for. Hundreds and hundreds of comments telling me to play this game after the last series. But I don't really know what else to say. To be completely honest, this is my face. You're going to have to deal with this. Subnautica below zero. I've, I've got to say, the music on this game is fucking sick. But there's basically no point in pretending like there's a lot to say because there isn't. Well, duh. <clears throat> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Fucking hell, Robin. Just straight up booted this giant piece of steel. Oh, wow, it just blew up in my face, okay. I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to do. The drop pod exploded in my face, and then I didn't really know what to do at all. I ran around the icy area looking for supplies and just wandering around trying to figure out what the fuck to do. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. There's a lot of dialogue in this game, and I'm pretty sure that's supposed to explain the story and what you're supposed to do, so I'd listen to that from here on out. I will say, in my opinion, this game is nowhere near as eerie as the first one. I looked around the first area, which I believe is called the Twisty Bridges. I did all the standard stuff, like looking for supplies. Then I eventually found my drop pod and did some crafting. I'll probably scan that. I left my drop pod and without much direction, I just looked around for fragments. The first priority was definitely the sea glide. This would make me much faster going through the water, but then I'd aim for the mobile vehicle bay so I could start working on the sea truck. I think there was a sea glide fragment over here somewhere. There is. It's penguin. What's up, dude? Yes. There were a ton of materials around here. While I was gathering up these materials, I realized I was running out of oxygen very fast. Rather stupidly, this whole time I haven't actually had the O2 tank. I should have prioritized this like I usually do, but I've been running off of 45 seconds of oxygen this whole time. Oh wait, an O2 tank, that's what I need. I'd been playing this game and recording for about 15 minutes without any O2 tank. Okay, probably the most important thing is out of the way now. Now with the O2 tank, I could actually look around this twisty bridges biome without suffocating every 45 seconds. mean to make a flashlight but i'm gonna stop going back and forth now and just go towards this thing because you never know it might have one mineral detector fragment yep that is sounds decently important and i'll tear a pda oh it's a sea monkey what's up bro i don't know if these things like beat you up or not he took my scanner give me a scanner back bro taking my scanner i suppose i'll just look down in these caves real quick while i have some oxygen is that a crash fish? Yep, that's definitely a crash fish. No, get away from me. Oh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Nice. Obviously very, very important. Crash fish are genuinely terrifying. There are so many crash fish. What is that? There's a weird looking fish. A brine wing. What the fuck? I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't know what it is. Aside from thalassophobia, another thing that really freaks me out are alarms. Like, alarms just scare the shit out of me. Like, the urgency of it, like, I don't know what it is, but alarms, man. Like, in school, when I was learning about the World War II, everything to do with World War II, when they'd sound that siren, the World War II siren, I'd literally just sit there shitting myself. What are all these weird tentacle-looking things? Like, are they rock formations, or are they part of a plant? All right, sweet. We got a fragment for the sea truck. Oh shit, we might die. We're probably fine. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're good. We're good. This is a blizzard. Now this is eerie. Like this is, like I can't see shit. Like underwater and above water, I cannot see shit. For those of you that have played this game before, obviously I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, where I'm going. Is that a brute shark? Yes. Oh golly, that thing's fast. Relax. I'm not. I'm not here for any trouble. Sounds like a crocodile snapping at me like that. As I was saying, if I'm like heading in the in the direction of like a giant leviathan or something like that, 
but I'm not gonna know. I've picked up a decent amount of materials. One more fragment for the sea truck, uh, which that looks like it is. Is that it? Yeah, nice. Okay, well, we've got the sea truck synthesized now, but I'm guessing we need the mobile vehicle bay, which is, I suppose, what I should be looking for first. Rebreather. Okay, nice. I need that. What is that noise? No, I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise. Nope, that's scary. I don't like it at all. That's, there's more fucking crash fish, man. Yeah, I don't like this cave. So it's to do with this alien shit. Well, duh. This is not the way out. I'm probably gonna drown. Where's all this green poo? Oh, it's just creep fine. Yeah, it must be like snow or hail, right? Oh shit, was that a lightning bolt? Yes. Lubricant, titanium ingot, and computer chip. Mobile vehicle bay. Titanium ingot, advanced rion kit, two glass, three lead, and a power cell. Okay, that's not actually that bad. Okay, day number two. My aim now is just to get the sea truck. Whoa, I've wandered into a deep biome. I'm a little freaked out now. I think I'm fine. I'm not not close to my thing at all. I have wandered very far. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking hell. There's another one. No, that is not- Oh my god, that's a leviathan. That That's the ch chelicera- chili Whatever the fuck it's called. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna dip. Frack that. Frack that. Frack that. Frack that. Oh my god. I had no idea. I have no idea where I am. Why is it so dark? I just run into the frack Leviathan, man. I'm, I'm, I just want some table crawl. Man, what the frack? I just want to get back. What the frack is that? Oh, it is something I've already found. That's a bit annoying. Just by wandering, I managed to put a leviathan between me and my life pod. Delta station dock. Wait, that's a new marker. I don't know if I have them all on me, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, I do. Nice. So, we finally got our sea truck. We're going to head over to this delta station dock now, I think. It looks like we're entering a new biome here, so... Oh, that is a weird... Uh, he doesn't look very friendly either, so I'm just I'm going to stay out of his way. Let me climb, let me climb. Okay, alright. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh my fucking god. Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. What the fuck? It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Yeah, she was strapped. Bitch came down with a fucking blade on her arm. Wait, so what? That I'm not gonna lie, that scared the fucking shit out of me. I am a little bit stunned right now. I'm not gonna lie. 